Okay. Well, I'm going to demonstrate, well, show a few of the boards I've made over the last year and a half or so. And, uh, <clears throat> to be honest, um, I'm not going to put them in any particular order. I might say which one was my first board or what. But, uh, this here is a uh, control board. Uh, here's some input and an input um, a debouncer. It's kind of a an ugly piece of shit, actually. I milled this out, actually, myself um, on the CNC, so uh, it was a little better than my other proto boards, but no. Uh, and uh, what's this? Oh, here's a serial board um, used specifically for strain gauges. It has a, oh, what is the name of it again? Ah, yes, an AD, AD7705B, which is a 16-bit ser uh, serial, serial out um, ADC. It has built-in amplifiers. Um, I think I'm using the PIC 16F690 for the control. Yeah. Ooh, this monstrosity. This guy is a quad, a quad half H bridge. It, uh, it can handle quite a bit of juice. Um, this one, I, yeah, I milled out the, uh, the traces. They are a little bit narrow in terms of how much current they produce, but, uh, you know, I, I, I ran it, I think I ran it at something like 10 amps, and, uh, this is for low voltage applications. It was originally designed to, uh, originally designed to, um, oh, what was it for? Oh, two coils, uh, opposing coils. Uh, a viscometer control board uh, using a PLCC uh, six, uh, PIC 18 uh, uh, F6680 um, RS232 out. I had some problems with the program, that's why there's resistors there. Uh, some surface mount componentry uh, TVSs. This is a a motor control. It uh, has um, four um, IGBT relays. Nothing spectacular. Another H bridge. This one's been kind of ripped apart. Um, worked though. Some weird piece of shit. I don't even remember what this is. My first power supply with the relay output worked. And here's the the cap for um, for smoothing out the ripple from the transformer. Lo and behold, another H bridge. Utilizing TIP 102s and TIP 107s, so complementary NPN PNP pairs. Some piece of shit, I don't know. control or a speed output with a hall sensor. This is a uh, little weather station kind of. It uh, 
detects temperature and ambient light. Uh, I do have uh, the results posted on my site. Oh, um, a switching power supply board. Just uh, it's a good thing I found this. This is actually handy. Um, nothing spectacular, but just a PT5101. sort of, oh this was a drive board for uh, stepper motors. Well this is uh, a bad idea. <laughs> it's, uh, to nest a whole bunch of the uh, what is that, That's eight, six, 16 pin ICs onto one did not work out well. An 8-pin, the 40-pin adapter for the PIC series uh, for programming it. A speed control for a motor and LCD out. And that's about it. Uh, there's other boards that I've built over the years, such as this. Uh, that's kind of a just an output, digital output. Nothing spectacular. Um, this is, here's another one. It can turn a lamp on and off, and it has uh, five transistor outputs. Here's a really small viscometer board that uh, has power regulation, LCD out. Um, unfortunately, there was no, I didn't put any provisions for programming it, so I had to pull the chip in and out every time I wanted to program it, which was a real pain in the ass. General robotics board. Uh, what a mess. A board for um, running multiple servos, you know, like RC servos where it has, a, I believe it's a one millisecond pulse uh, every 20 milliseconds. But there we have it. That's probably almost all of my boards. I, I'm sure I, th I have a bunch of other ones kicking around, farting around somewhere. And, uh, well, have a nice day. And uh, I'm going to get on to probably uh, some reviews of proto boards I've used over the years. Uh, strip boards and uh, boards for, uh, proto boards from sites on eBay. And... Uh, a wide variety of things. Well, I have a whole wide variety of boards. So, uh, have a nice day.